Hi, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to export your avatar from Blender to Unity as an FBX, show you the settings, and then I'm going to show you how to set up the rig in Unity so the avatar can move normally and be animated. So first we are in Blender and I'm going to file export as an FBX. And here's a bunch of things you can do really. So we can see how I have like a bunch of these meshes and I don't want them to be exported with this avatar. I basically want it to look like this only. So I deselect and hide with this eye what I don't want to export. And then I click limit to visible objects. I can also uh, do selected objects, which means only for example, these that I select will get exported. But we're not doing that today though. So we just only export visible objects. And now we scroll down. And in transform, you change all local to FBX all. And in armature, you uh, click add leaf bones so we don't add any. Leaf bones are um, really good things, really good bones, but uh, in VR chat, they're useless. So we're not going to use them here. And I'm going to copy paste the path to my new project, export. And you're going to see it's going to import here. And there we go, we have our model in uh, VR chat. Uh, well, not VR chat, Unity. We are just gonna take a little bit. And in this video, I'm not gonna bother myself with a uh, texture so I don't waste your time. That's for another video. But now I'm gonna show you how to set up the rig so our avatar can be animated. So from generic, we go to humanoid. Assuming your avatar is a humanoid, we hit Y. That takes a few seconds. And you can see there's problems. Usually they appear, so I'm gonna show you how to uh, fix you know, most problems that can happen. So we go to configure and you can see there's a bunch of things going on. And for example, we're missing feet. So, and also chest. So what you do is that essentially you put them in. So I start with the feet, I go left knee, I click it. So it shows me the hierarchy where it is. And I grab the ankle and I put it into foot. I do the same for the right one. And for toes, um, you can add them, but I usually don't. I usually don't need them. And I don't know if it's still true, but in the past, when you had uh, bones in the toes slot, the avatar could like a st you know be stepping on their toes like really high up for no reason when you're in like half body VR. So I don't do that. Uh, now I need to find the chest bone. I put it in, and for some reason, the chest bone is actually a common problem to. Uh, you know, to appear. And for some reason it didn't put spine into spine, so I'm gonna do that as well, and now it's fixed. And now there's another problem that happens like all the time. Uh, you go to head and you see in the jaw slot, there's like a random hair uh, bone, so you just delete it. There you go. You can still see we have problems. But if you look at this, uh, all the bones are, you know, attached the right way. Also, if you look at hands, all the fingers are fine. So how do we fix this? Uh, you go down here and you click pose and you enforce T-pose. And this should fix the problem, really. It happens a lot of the times when the avatar starts in the, you know, the A pose like this. So we just go enforce the T-pose. Now you click apply and you click done. And now we can actually test it in Unity with Gesture Manager uh, Emulator, which I'm gonna put link in the description so you can get it. It's like a tool that's gonna save you a gazillion minutes and hours because it allows you to test stuff in Unity as it would be in VRChat, so you don't have to upload anything. Uh, so I'm gonna click the play button. It's gonna take a while. And I forgot to make my avatar an actual avatar. So let me do that as well. Just gonna add like a VLC avatar descriptor. And this is enough, by the way, uh, for the testing purposes. And also when you put an, your FBX into um, your project, sometimes the animator is missing. So you add component and you add animator. Without the animator, uh, it's not gonna animate, you know. And if it's missing the avatar in the slot, you basically find your FBX you click this arrow and you find the avatar here, which is this little thing here. And you click and drag it into the slot. 
that fixes all the problems. And now it should function, so let us test it. Go to scene, you click the gesture manager, and you can see our avatar is, uh, you know, seems to be animated, seems to be fine. So we can do a bunch of things. I'm gonna go to debug and I'm gonna change the upright value to 0 0.25. So we can see she can actually crawl. And if I do 0 0.49, I think. Yeah, there you go, that's like the crouching thing. So that works. Uh, our rig is fine, everything's animating, everything's moving. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, any, you know, any thoughts, let me know in the comments, like the video, share it to your friends, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.